Hi guys, hope you're doing well. My name is Shayan and today we'll be talking about how to set up your Flutter project with Firebase. So a few months ago we saw that the Firebase changed their UI and added support for Flutter. When you create a project you see the Flutter icon like this in the Firebase project overview. So this support or this um, function gives us support to add both Android and iOS apps into our Flutter uh, project without doing any Gradle upgrade upgradations and uh, the things we needed to do beforehand when the Flutter support was not available on the Firebase. So now the Flutter support is here and it's quite easy to set up we just need a few things and we're good to go so on the first thing we need is flutter fire support so let's type flutter fire install or flutter fire install so and open the first link all these are just boilerplate things go to the CLI installation and copy this and open your command prompt and paste it right here after this installation you see that they are giving us this command to paste and this command will allow us to see if our flutter fire CLI is installed or not let's wait for it to install first so now that it it's installed um, I should let you know that these npm commands these only work when you have node installed in your PC so for this command to work you will have to install node just google how to install node or uh, install node and they open the first URL they will give you a command like this let's say install node and just download the node and you're good to go install it and it, that's it so after that let's copy this command and paste it and see if your flutter fire is working yeah it's there and it's working perfectly so let's uh, let it build some executable projects and it's done it's activated and that's it for some of the viewers or some people you might face error that flutter fire is not set up or flutter fire is not configured so for that instance I will recommend you to just copy this path open your environment variable go to your path new edit and just paste it right here like I did beforehand and that's it so your flutter will start working you might have to inst uh, restart your system or your CMD and that's it so after that go to your flutter project and let me just open the project I want to set up so let's say I created a project named firebase video let's change it to this enable it select an account and let's create the project so now that our flutter uh, firebase project is created let's click continue and this is our dashboard of the firebase project let's click on flutter so we have installed the firebase cli we have installed the flutter sdk it should be installed when you're working on Flutter. 
let's click on next and copy this command go to your flutter project and paste it right here after that go to chrome again and copy this command and paste it right here so as you can see that this is saying that the firebase account that i have logged into my system or with firebase cli is not same as the uh, account that i am creating the project on so for this purpose i will have to log in through my other account or and create a project on that or i will have to give access of this project to my other account so let me do that and so we're back so now just do the process again click on flutter i all run this command so i will don't have to uh, run this command again i will just copy this paste it right here now it's giving me options to select which of the configuration i want if i want only android and ios let me just unselect the web with going to the web with arrow keys and pressing space now the android and ios will only set up and let's pr press enter So yeah, that's it. Now just go to next and copy these. Go to your main and paste these right here. Now it's saying that I don't have async and I don't have these Firebase core plugin installed, so let's just install it and we are good to go so now it's done that's it your firebase project is now set up and all of the configurations that we need is already done the google Genius services json file is also available the build gradle is also set up and for the ios we can see that the google service info playlist file is also there so thank you for watching guys please like and subscribe share and i will keep coming back with some useful